Davida is a three-time stroke survivor. She's also the founder of Healthy Thoughts, a group on a mission to educate the community on the importance of stroke awareness. Davida, I'm glad you're here to talk to me. Three strokes. My yes. goodness. Can you kind of walk us through that real quickly? Sure. Um, I had the first one at the age of 30 in 2005, and I woke up. I had left side numbness and blurred vision. Um, I actually didn't know what was going on, and upon calling my doctor, he instructed that I go to the ER. And about 18 months later, I had a second stroke as well. I, um, that one I wasn't able to get to the ER in time, and that one was actually a massive stroke. And then about six months after that one, I had a third stroke. Wow, that's I, I can barely process that. I think our viewers are sitting at home just wondering, how did you survive all that? Were, were, were you at high risk for strokes to keep having strokes? Um, actually, no, I don't have the high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes. I don't have cholesterol. I don't have any known factors that will cause me to have a stroke besides the fact that I'm African-American. And we're twice as likely to have a stroke than any other race. Did doctors have a reason, though, for you having multiple strokes, considering you were, you were not high risk? No, and the truth of the matter is 3% of strokes actually go undiagnosed a year. Really? Okay, well then yeah. let, let, let's help people get some answers then. Right now on the screen we were showing some of the signs and some of them you mentioned that you had. What are the warning signs that something is going wrong? Sure, absolutely. A severe headache out of nowhere, numbness on one side or both sides of the body, blurred vision, an inability to uh, speak, or an inability to walk. How, how have you, what has your recovery process been like? You know, I've been truly blessed, and I believe this is why God has definitely left me here, is that I'm able to speak after my stroke. Um, I do, although I have a form of dementia, it's called vascular dementia, and I also have some processing disorders, but um, my physical, um, I get extreme exhaustion at times and things of that nature, but I am actually able to walk and speak and things of that nature, and this is why I've dedicated my life to spread a stroke awareness so individuals know no matter how old you are or what, what race you are, you are at risk for having a stroke. Is there anything that you can do to lessen the risk? One thing uh, most importantly is to absolutely know the warning signs, um, the ones that I just mentioned. Second of all is knowing that there are things that could potentially change your risk factors, such as um, not smoking or alcohol or drug abuse or um, obesity. Things of this nature will actually help decrease your potential of having a stroke. And I think everybody can do those things. Well, before I let you go, um, we showed beautiful pictures of you and your family. You're a okay. mom. Um, I mean, w when someone has health issues like this, it affects family. So what is the one message that you want every woman who's listening right now to hear? You know, I want every woman to know, we as mothers and, and you know, going on with our career, I was an accountant before I actually had the strokes. I have a master's degree. And I just want us to know that we need to put ourselves first. You know, that intuition that we have when our children are doing something right, you need to listen to it for yourself. Go to the doctors. Get checked up regularly. And that's how you can be there for your family. Davida got Absolutely. it. A, a very powerful uh, message. We are glad that you are, are, are far along on the road to recovery. You look fantastic. Davida, thank you so much.